Hey everyone, um, I am running into some confusion, possibly some problems with this. In some cases it does work properly, I think. Uh, I'm starting to realize that it might have been something else, but let's, let me walk you through what I've been doing so I can show you what I'm confused about. Uh, this is obviously the, the uh, register. Um, I, I don't have a bus hooked up to it, which is kind of the point for now. But for the 245, I have the enable set to high, so it's not outputting. And, well, actually, if I set enable to high, that'll get inverted to low. Okay, yeah, so it's not outputting. Right? And the direction is set to high, so it should be going from here to here, but enable is disabled, so it's not outputting at all. So the 245, disabled, great. Now, the... 173s, they are tied together at this pin, pin 2, which is the clear, so I'm holding that low. Perfect, great. Nobody cares. Then, for the G1 and G2, I am holding them high, so I am not writing to them, since they are inverted. And there was something else, I think. Well, I obviously have no clock plugged into this yet. Um... So if I turn that on just, just from this, and as he said, it could be random, right? Boom, random, got this, great, fantastic. Uh, if I unplug it and replug it back in, it can switch, but it seems to be stuck at outputting 5 volts. Maybe for some other reason, I don't know. But when I pull this out and plug it into here, it doesn't change anything, so... If I'm writing and there's nothing there, he said that it should just pull from 5 volts, but there are many times where some of them just won't turn on at all. Or in fact, they turn off. And if I go back and forth between writing and there's nothing on the bus, you know, it never turns on. But in his video, it did. Um, to kind of troubleshoot this, I started... I plugged in a high signal to the, I plugged in high to, let's say, one of these registers. Come on. Let's say the second register. Right? And then I, you know, I'm actually plugged in right now. I go from not to right to right. Okay, great. And then I'm going to, I'm going to pulse the clock manually with my own fingers. And the pin does turn on. And I, I do have this on the second pin. Right? I, I didn't even... Here, let me put it to low. I, I'm not even, like, pulsing the clock. And it's, like, updating. Right? So if I hold low, though... I can only assume that because of this, it's, like... Um, yeah, see, th this is what I was confused about, I guess, is... Without any clock at all, I have everything right enabled, but as, you know, I'm not pulsing any clock, but it's updating. If I hold it to zero, it goes to zero. If I hold it high, it goes high, even though I have no clock attached to it. If I do attach a clock, everything works, I think, for the most part, pretty much the way I would expect it to work. So let me plug in the clock to my actual clock. Let me plug in my power back in. And, okay, so I've got my clock working here. Uh, I have it set to a manual mode. And then, well, that actually worked the way, no, kind of weird still. None of the other ones are turning on, but this one is, like, flickering. You know, I, I'm guessing that there's some, like, because there's nothing there, it's hovering between, or there's some noise on there or something on there that's, you know, but if, if I hold it to zero, it does reliably stay off. And if I move it to on, it does reliably turn on. So I'm guessing that this is sort of working properly. Um, and then if I disable the rights and pulse it, nothing happens. Uh, if I clear it, it does work. Uh, I don't want to do this because I don't want to output yet. So... 
kind of to clarify, oops, sorry about that. Kind of to clarify what else happened, I made this kind of side module with one of the 173s. And I actually swapped out all of the other 173s for this one, just to do some quick testing. And let me power it up real quick. All right. And let me see, let me see. I got the uh, pin two, which is the clear hold held to zero. M and N, uh, the enable bits are held low to keep it high. Uh, let's see, The this is ground. Ground is connected to ground. Yes, these wires are red, but this is the ground. This is the power. So this is plus, this is minus. And I have G1 and G2, they are tied. It's a little hard to see, but there's a teeny tiny little metal wire right there that's bridging the two of them. And uh, I have it again over here, by the way, to bridge one and two together. Uh, let's see. So now I have the clock held low and the input I'm going to hold low and the output is held to this LED, is wired to the LED, right? It goes to this 220 resistor and the 220 resistor goes to the LED, which goes to ground. Now, if I just lift this up, it goes, the, the LED turns off and that kind of makes sense to me. The reason it doesn't make sense to me is because I'm not pulsing it high. So I don't know why this is updating. But again, if there's like noise going on inside of here, if this thing is like, I, I don't want to say it's damaged because it seems to be working under most other conditions, but it seems to be not working right. So if I pull this, you see how it goes on again, but I held it high. And then if I pull it out, it updates. And in fact, if I leave the clock out, it just updates to either being on or if I plug it in, it's off. Actually, if I plug it, if I put it into positive and it turns on and I pull it out, it dims a little bit, which is a little strange, but you know, otherwise this is working kind of properly, but with nothing in the clock, it's just constantly updating. Again, I'm assuming there's noise or maybe this is damaged. Maybe someone can explain that to me, but it's not behaving exactly as his was in the video. Uh, however, it does update only if I mess with the clock. If I change something in the clock, it updates. So if anyone can help me kind of explain this, uh, that'd be great. Otherwise, I'm going to continue on. I'm going to move forward. I'm going to build that second register and assume this is properly working, but I don't know. 